I'm very pleased that the, the recent iteration of the Canada Food Guide has finally um, snubbed dairy and taken dairy products out as a, as a food group. This is a seismic revolution, really, and it's um, about 50 years in the making and should have happened a long, long time ago. We should consider dairy, you literally, if you were trying to design a food that was the most toxic, that had the most potential to cause cancer, vascular disease, diabetes, infect people with viruses, bacteria, and just make them sick overall with allergic reactions. You literally couldn't design a food any more toxic than dairy. And it's ironic because, of course, dairy has been touted and has been so um, friendly with the government agencies and had government subsidies and continues to get billions of dollars in government subsidies. It's the most bizarre situation in terms of real science because our tax dollars are basically being used to subsidize a very lucrative industry to actually put cheaper versions of dairy in our hands and to increase our sickness in the population, including that of our children. So it's it's like a very bad story. The further you get into the politics and the money associated with dairy, the dirtier the story gets. There's no happy ending at the end of it. You should basically consider dairy as liquid flesh because dairy has all the similar compounds, compounds as red meat does, only it's even got a whole other bunch of hormones filled with almost certainly more bacteria and viruses. It's a triple threat. So, so the the protein in dairy, mostly casein, is probably the most important cancer promoter uh, in the world because of how much of it's consumed. The saturated fat in dairy uh, is one of the most potent creators of vascular disease and vascular plaques uh, that we know about. And then if that doesn't get you, so if cancer and vascular disease doesn't get you, number one and number two killers, then dairy is also known to be significantly contaminated with both uh, bacteria and viruses associated with significant human disease. So it's, uh, it's, it's literally a triple threat in terms of disease. There's no, there's no disease that's not made worse with dairy. And so why, again, we've been forced to subsidize it from our tax dollars is um, I think the future will, there'll be movies and documentaries about it that dairy and the dairy industry's ability to secure our tax dollars to support their industry is one of the biggest hoaxes of, of, of modern civilization. Mm -hmm.